Allah says, and we sent you Muhammad as a da'i. That's why I love the topic of da'i. Because we can never finish doing da'wah. Never. And Prophet Nuh, alayhi salatu wasalam, hundreds of years, but he never gave up. So listen to the point. What I'm saying here is we must not give up. Hundreds of years he gave da'wah. And only 80 people. Do you know what was also very interesting? Uh, some people say, some commented, they say he had four sons. Most authentic, he had three sons. Four, three, whatever. But he had one son that did not even believe. And in addition to that, his wife did not believe. You know, amongst the prophets, there were two prophets whose wives never believed in Allah. Prophet Lut and Prophet Noah. Nuh, alayhi salatu But did he whine? Did he cry? Did he frustrate himself because his son and his wife did not believe? No. Did he give up the mission of Dawah? Mm -mm. Did he give up the mission of spreading the message of Allah? No. He continued and he continued and he continued. Yeah. So it also tells us that you must not let your wife and children divert us from the remembrance of Allah. When he was building the ark, and you know it's a long story, so I'm going to cut here and there, be in the line, inshallah. When he was building the ark, the ship, famous Noah's ark, son laughed at him, wife laughed at him, the people laughed at him. What foolishness are you doing? And what was very interesting, he did not build the ark by the sea. He built the ark in the middle of land on top of a mountain or highland, highland. So everybody were even double laughing at him. How are you going to take this ark to the ocean? You're going to ask all of us to carry it? The wind will blow it and they were making a fool out of him. And he said, Allah has ordered me to do this. And I do what Allah has ordered me to do. So people without spiritual insight don't understand the work of Allah. Wife laughed at him. But he did not go ahead, his wife misleading him and his son misleading him and tell him, give up, give up, give up. Nobody likes you. The people in his time, actually, the 80 people who accepted and believe in God, they were the poor people. Yeah. Go check. Yeah. They tafsir. They were the humble people. And the rich people used to laugh at him and said, it's a bunch of poor people who accept you and your God. Waste of time. We won't waste our time on that. So the rich laughed at him. The pompous and the proud ones laughed at him. Doesn't that happen today? Then people see you praying and you're God conscious and you pray and then reading Quran. They're like, what are you doing? That's what the people did to him. You're wasting your time. Nobody will follow. Nobody will listen. Nobody will learn. You're wasting your time. You know, we got a hundred thousand every year distribution of Quran. Some people is like, why you waste your time? But you know, the few people who call and people call and decide who we give. It is so motivating. Huh? We give hundreds and thousands of Quran. Prophet Noah only had 80 people who believed, and not even his wife and his son. But he did not let them frustrate him. He did not go off the wrong path because his wife and son mislead him and discouraged him. No! And we got to learn from the Prophet, peace be upon him. This is all, men this is all mentioned in the Quran. Chapters and chapters. And the scriptures before. Because Allah wanted us to learn. Allah wanted us to benefit. And Allah wants us not to get discouraged if we have children who are not in the right path. See, 
we need to continue what we have to do. So they laughed at him. And then Allah caused the rain to come. And the rain came. And what was interesting also, even underground, you know when you study geography and geology, you learn about the earth, how they got non-porous rocks, and you got porous rocks. Do they teach that in school here nowadays, Maha? Half is Maha? All right. I thought they only teach to make money in America. Or oh, nowadays, that's all people learn. So beneath the earth, you got porous and non-porous rocks. So some absorb and some don't. So the earth started opening in cracks all over and water started coming from underground also. Because as the rain came, the earth could have absorbed the, absorbed the water. So from underground, the water was coming. From overhead, the skies, the water was coming. And the place flooded and flooded and flooded and flooded. And cut a long story short, his son went up on the mountain and thought that the flood will not catch him there. He told his dad, he said, dad, I'm a smart guy, you know. As nowadays, kids tell their children, their parents, I'm a university graduate. So his son said, I can climb mountains and floods don't reach on top of mountains. So I don't need to come in your ark and believe in your God. But Allah caused the flood to cover the mountains and boom, he was drowned. So we cannot overpower the power of Allah. That's why when we are reminded, my brothers and sisters, obey Allah. Follow the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Don't give up. Could you imagine? 